as well as a board member of Ojala Foundation, Latino Muslims of Chicago. This organization has taken on the responsibility that not many Muslim, um, Muslim are able to take on, which is to give dawah in the Spanish language to the, Latino, to the ever-growing Latino community. In Surah Hujurat, in the beginning of Ayah 13, the Quran says, <clears throat> O oh, mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female, and we have made you into tribes and nations, so that you may get to know one another. It is our obligations as Muslims to make sure... as Muslims to get to know our brothers and sisters from all different backgrounds, which is why Ohana Foundation has been brought to existence, because this organization has the ability to reach the Spanish-speaking community that no other Chicago Muslim organization has been able to reach, which is why we are in dire need to, uh, to raise funds. We are seeking funds to establish the groundwork that is needed to, uh, to give the information and understanding of Islam to the Latino community. And this groundwork will, inshallah, lead us to establish a community center in the near future that would be the first of its kind in the Chicagoland area. The Latino community is in need of a sense of family, familiarity, a voice within the, Latin, within the larger Muslim community. And most importantly, they need answers to the questions and misconceptions that they have surrounding Islam. And the list goes on. So what we're trying to do is provide the assistance and support and understanding for them so they have the ability to come to us, so we're visible for them, so they can ask us questions about Islam and our story towards Islam, our journey towards Islam in the Spanish language. So I've given you a little glimpse of what, uh, what Ojala Foundation is and inshallah will become. But uh, for now, I'll go ahead and pass over the mic to board member Raul Gonzalez, who will share his story to his son as a Puerto Rican brother. And as he is telling your story, there will be um, additional members walking around with boxes for any donations you're able to give, from $1, $10, $25, whatever you can give to this very highly needed project. Just go ahead. My name is Raul Gonzalez, mucho gusto. My name is Raul Gonzalez. It's very pleased to meet you. Uh, my story is a, a, a harsh story. I come through very hard. Uh, time to come to Ramat. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I was in an orphanage when I was six years old. And uh, you know, my family was broken up very, you know, to this day I've never sat at the table with my family with, at the same time. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I spent over half of my life in institutions, correctional facilities, and maximum security prisons. And it was in this place, in these dismal cribs, that I heard, Muhammad Rasulullah. 
And by Allah's mercy, I embraced the deen of Islam. And the deen of Islam in these institutions, the camaraderie, and the companionship is amazing. It's amazing. We, 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 we look for the Muslims. We want to talk to the Muslims. We always want to be around the Muslims. And this is what I expected. And it's not just the Latinos, all the Muslims, black, Arabic, all the Muslims. We, we want to be together. And this is what I expected upon uh, returning to society. But it's not what I found. And it was very difficult. Especially during Ramadan, you know, I have a gift talk every night by myself. Alhamdulillah. But Ohala Foundation changed that. Ohala Foundation has given me a home and wants to give home to, to Latinos and all Muslims. All Muslims. We, 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 we're not just an Islamic organization in name. Alhamdulillah. We're not an Islamic organization in deed, inshallah. Because we, we want to spread the, the dawah. Dawah is an invitation to think. And that's to, to use the aqua. And this is what we at Ohara Foundation want to do. We want to have a, a, a center, a place where, we can, where people who take the shahada can go after the shahada and learn about the deen of Islam and go and have a camaraderie, have a companionship like, like the Sahaba were with each other. Like we're supposed to be, like Muslims are supposed to be. You know, and, and it's, it's very difficult for people who, who are not familiar with Islam when the Mu'alif, he takes a shahada, what happens to him after he leaves, you know, but it's Salaamu Alaikum and he leaves. Where's his growth? Where's his, where's his, 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 our duty as Muslims to help grow the Mu'alif, to teach them and to guide them correctly. This is what we want to do with Ohala Foundation. We want to, and our long term uh, goal is to have a community center so that brothers and sisters of all works of life, of all races, can come and learn about And it is our obligation, brothers and sisters, to give as Allah has given to you. So we pray that, you know, may Allah move your heart and to, and to um, assist us in this endeavor. And everybody that goes in those doors, you give Everybody that goes in those doors, you get a blessing from them learning what, what is being taught in those doors. Alhamdulillah. So I greet you in the greetings of the universe, the greetings of Islam, the, 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 what we will hear upon entering the Jannah. Inshallah, we enter the Jannah. That is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I understand we have a very small gathering here, but each and every one of you is very important to this Ummah. Even if you're not able to donate a dollar or whatever you can, every penny counts. But additional to that, you are part of communities and families, and you are able to spread out the word and let people know that there is an organization that can spell it, especially as Latinos. I know we all at least have a Latino worker, friend, someone that you know that is Latino, and then they can come to us and ask us those type of questions. Is that good? Assalamu alaikum. The, I want to just testify that I've met the brothers and sisters behind this organization. I love they're an amazing group of people. You know, they have not only hosted our local volunteers at the houses, they come to our classes, they've involved themselves. And, you know, I, I respect them so much that right here I'm going to say I'm pledging $500 to the Ahala Foundation. And I want you all to, you know, join me in donating to them because they're going to do an amazing uh, thing. I'm the Jazakta Fair, Sister Shirley and Brother Raul for you know, talking to us about your guys' foundation. Just a few quick announcements. Inshallah.